you can track an anime fan's journey through anime based off how they feel about sword art online. First, they see it, they love it. It was one of the first anime they saw, so they had nothing like it before. But then, they'll mature, see more anime, maybe talk to some critical anime fans, and then they will realize that SAO is the worst anime ever. But then, they'll watch more anime, and find that despite its flaws, it has some merits, and they'll end up becoming excited for season three. The first episode of which I want to talk to you about today. And well, that first episode was pretty awesome. Possibly one of the best first episodes of the year, but I also saw like four awesome first episodes today, so that might be too much to say. The first episode is a double-length episode, giving it a lot of time to, to just set up the story of the season, and it did it very well. The first half was quite weird. It showed Kirito as a kid in some video game world we'd never seen with two friends, Alice and Uego, and we'd never seen them before either. The show spent a lot of time in this world, not answering the obvious questions, just showing it. Eventually, we learn that he is full diving into this, but with a new technology that is interfacing directly with his soul, and it is implied that while Kirito is in this world, he doesn't know it is a fictional video game world. And that's why I like that the show spent so much time on this world and just not giving us answers. Because we're seeing the events unfold through the eyes of Kirito, who believes this is reality. I liked how they showed the events here, and I was really invested in the world once I got over the initial I don't know what's going on, and just seeing like Alice taken by the night, how much Kirito cared about her, and just the whole story of the world. Like, I kind of thought this was just going to be like a fantasy world completely separate from SAO except Kirito, but I knew that wasn't it, so it was just a weird thing to experience. And one of the things that this episode absolutely nailed was the atmosphere. Each scene had just the right emotional weight to draw me in. It wasn't over-the-top emotion, but just a lingering feeling of tension, or maybe fear, or excitement, or just whatever's needed. Whether it was them exploring the cave, learning Alice was going to be executed, or even the action in GGO just were all conveyed in the right tone. I don't know if directing is the right word to describe it, but whatever the case, A1 nailed it here. The part where Kirito is attacked by the guy from Laughing Coffin at the end was great too. And it just left the thing on a great cliffhanger. Now we know Kirito is the main character, so he won't actually die from the poison because, well, he's Kirito and the main character. But it was still very exciting, and I want to know how he'll get out of it. I was hoping it won't be another case where the health monitor just happens to block the poison because they did that last time, and there was a stretch thin, and doing that same trick twice, just... No. The whole STL thing is a fascinating concept, though I don't know if they'll be able to handle it in the right way. For one, the interface with the soul makes no sense from a technological and scientific perspective, and I am very picky when it comes to sci-fi that I want it to be realistic, so when they kind of jump the shark here, that, yeah, that's not good. Hopefully this will be a small enough issue that they can just like hand wave this one detail and I'm okay with it. Hopefully this won't be a big issue, it's just like one thing they kind of hand wave and then they can build the rest of the story from there, as opposed to having the science not make any sense, but well, we'll see where it goes. Going beyond the realism though, one of the things that SEO has been doing throughout season two was exploring the idea about the power of technology and how it can be used for good, specifically video games, but also beyond that as well. I'm guessing they'll take the same approach with the STL, but I wonder exactly what they'll do with it, because they, they have that time dilation thing where your time spent in there does not feel the same as the time spent out of it, or how the memories can be blocked, so there's a lot they can do. Maybe the ideas of if a simulation can be real and how that is. I'm also curious to see how this ties into Kaiba's plans, which were briefly mentioned a couple times, so I think we'll hopefully get answers here. And another thing I'm curious about, what Alice and Uego's role will be in the story. From the opening or ending, whatever that was, it looks like they are at least main supporting characters. But who are they? What are they? Are they NPCs? Other people playing this game? Or a more advanced form of AI? Which, I think this show is going to focus on AI this season, so we'll see where that goes. And again, I don't trust them to handle the realism part well, but we'll see how that goes, if it'll just be another hand wave, that whatever. Whatever the case, I'm looking forward to seeing more. SAO may have a rocky start, like all of season one and like half of season two, but this introduction showed me that yes, I was right to be excited for season three. If you're on the fence about watching it or not, 
I'd say give it a try. Even if you aren't caught up with SAO so far, you probably won't be too lost if you know the basic concept. And as I said in my season two review, Sword Art Online is a very unique sci-fi show with a lot of fascinating concepts. And while I might not always execute on these concepts well, it is off to a good start here and it was good in season two well, the end of it, and Ordinal Scales, so maybe they'll be good here? I really hope so, because it could be really good, and I've heard the light novel is good, plus a good production value so far, so yeah, this could be a great show. I hope it is. Anyway, tell me what you thought of uh, episode one of this season. I am going to try covering this weekly. I don't know if I will, but if you want me to say more things about SAO every week, then let me know in the comments, and I will try to hopefully do it. Though again, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.